All right, the Orioles have a handful of players who will take the field on opening day already with the big game experience from this spring. Well, the sport is coming off the World Baseball Classic, the international tournament won by Team USA, but it was a much smaller nation that stole the bulk of the attention earlier in the event. NBC2 News, Sean Stepner here with a He's got the details. Yeah, guys, we're uh, talking about Team Israel. They were the heavy underdog that did big things in the WBC, thanks in part to some help from a few Baltimoreans. They were the darlings of the WBC, and Yoni Rosenblatt was there for it all. I love Israel. I love sports medicine. I rehab elite athletes every day. It was a great fit. The 35-year-old from Pikesville is a physical therapist and owner of True Sports Physical Therapy in Fells Point. What about this? He's a proud Baltimorean and a proud Jew. Rosenblatt was one of the physical therapists and strength and conditioning coaches for the Israeli baseball team that made history earlier this month. We we're thrilled. I mean, very proud of what we had accomplished. What they accomplished was sweeping their way through Israel's first round of its first ever WBC, beating host South Korea, Chinese Taipei, and the Netherlands. Did I think we would advance to the top eight teams in the world? Once I got to know the guys, yeah, I did. Team Israel's roster was made up of primarily Jewish Americans who could play for the team because of the classics heritage rule, which allows countries to field players who qualify for citizenship. Also on board was Baltimore native Adam Gladstone, who has worked for the Orioles in their video replay department. He was Team Israel's assistant general manager. And Maryland native Ben Worthen was a scout for the Israeli team, He's the O's advanced scouting coordinator. We were all excited to wear some of our Orioles gear on that, on that stage. Team Israel finished the WBC with a record of 4-2, and two, their run ending with a second-round loss to Japan in Tokyo. When we lost, we were disappointed, sad, proud for what we did, what we accomplished, what we showed the world. And their success should last generations. Rosenblatt says the Israel Association of Baseball was awarded around $200,000 for its country's performance in the tournament. Shekels that will cultivate the future of Israeli baseball. They're going to take that money and build fields across the country. Not just build fields, but build baseball infrastructure. In 18 years, the starter for the Israeli national baseball team will be Israeli born. That's going to be amazing to watch. Now, as far as any anti-Israel or anti-Semitic remarks, Yoni says he didn't hear any in Korea or Japan. He says there were some during the qualifying games in Brooklyn, but nothing the guys hadn't heard before and overcome.